We're going to start a new brand called I Don't Care About Nail Polish. We're on you now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Welcome to Restored by Polish, where we talk about how polish helps us with their overall mental and physical well-being. I'm Krista. I'm Jacqueline. Jacqueline's in her chipper self today. I'm in my Eeyore mood or my piglet mood. I don't know. Yeah. I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Yeah. Having to deal. We're back to having to deal with elderly family members and trying and to care. get placement for and them. It's terrible. And, yeah. The system is broken. Yeah. That's all yeah. I have to it say. It is. Across the country, it really is. So, yeah. It's uh, something that definitely, maybe the next generation will be able to fix it. You hope? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. It's just frustrating yeah. and disappointing and all of the above. Exactly. Well, let's do something cheery and happy huh. then. <laughs> okay. We're going to do our best to cheer you up. Uh-huh. All right. And we're going to do spring nail trends. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> don't get too excited. <laughs> all right. So spring, I've been, I read like about two, well, maybe three or four different little you know, cosmopolitan, oh my gosh. L, um, some like definitely just like nail specific websites about what the spring nail trends are. And so I, I'm not going to use one particular one. I kind of compiled all the different thoughts on colors and oh ideas and you know, what, what they've been seeing on runways and those kind of things. And I pulled <laughs> from my collection and we're gonna take a look uh, at what, what your spring nail trends are. The things well, that, what, what, the what would spring, fit in, like what would, what would fit, fit into, into that? The, yeah, what would fit into that? So sounds so, like fashion. I'm it not, is. I'm not into well, that. I mean, and that's kind of how it is with nail polish. I mean, there are trends that I know, but know. I just want to wear what I want to wear when I want to. Well, wear. and I am too, and I will say that with with nail polish, like you know. There are some trends that I'm probably not going to do, and, and you'll find out why, because they're like <laughs> super not seasonal or whatever. But, uh, uh, Chrissy but, yeah, can't go outside hard. of her little box. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. But anyway, they look fun, so we might as well just take you a look. You said black is the new. There was one. I'll black. do that. I didn't, I, didn't bring, I didn't bring that one, though. But yes, black, black is one. I saw that in one place where they said black was tr- black nails were trending. So yeah, I'll, I'd know. do black nails. Okay, well, let's see you do it then. I have. Before. I know. I want to see you actually wear it in spring. Oh, okay. Make it into a spring nanny. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to insert that nanny if you get that done. <laughs> I don't know. My nails are good today, so it's not on my it's okay. not on my list of things to do. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Let's get the camera turned around. All right, we're gonna get started with this spring nail trends. And what I did was I kind of like I said I jotted down my notes on what the trends were from a compilation here of different places. And I'm gonna have Jacqueline read off. One by one. So we're going to start with the first one. So what's the first one, Jacqueline? Chrome. Chrome nails. So chrome, metal, metallic, chrome nails are in. A couple places I saw said that they definitely were saying silver chrome. Um, and so I brought, I didn't bring silver chrome. I have silver chrome. But you chrome. have silver. I know. I just saw her. She just jumped up because she's shaking like. shaking it. So silver chrome is really big, but it can be any chrome. They said any chrome. But she's going to show us one of her silver chromes there. So there you go. Nice silver chrome. Um, so yeah. And the gold one too. I feel bad for people that hate the metallic e finishes because. Uh, this one too. Yeah. Um, so the one that I brought over. And I everything that I brought over is going to be mainstream because I wanted. Look at that. She's jumping in. Look at that. That's, That's very pretty. chromey. Yes. Very metallic-y. Very metallic yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, I'm, but, but the ones that I brought over were all mainstream because I wanted it to be something that could be like easily gotten to. Look, she's still jumping. Yeah, see? You, you are go. squirrel. Sorry. Yes. These are pretty. Yeah. I like them. Uh, the one that I brought over is pink chrome. But your favorite, Jacqueline. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> this is Essie's Si Vous Play. One of my favorites. I, I really have always enjoyed... Um, this one from from Essie, but yes, I saw. It, like I said, it was mostly they talked about the silver chrome, but I also saw lots of pictures of you know like the the fall leading chromes, the multi chromes. Whereas you know we're talking about metal finishes, which are usually like more of a duo chrome. All right, so chrome polishes are in. What's next? Mm, sorry, my her phone sorry. went to sleep. Yes. Milky nails. Milky nails. Yeah, that dude. sounds terrible. <laughs> so, and I'll, maybe I'll flash some pictures up too. So the milky nails are the ones that are like they're white or maybe like a very baby pink, but they're not fully opaque, right? So you're talking about like a really on the nail sheer kind of look, but it's taking like a sheer polish and then putting like six coats on will make it have kind of like that milky that milky look to it. Uh, so I brought over a couple of examples. So um, this one is called Sheer Luck um, from Essie. And so this one is actually super, super sheer. 
And uh, for a white, I have Essie's Tuck in My Tux. This one's a little bit more opaque. So, but they definitely, it's almost like a white jelly. Like if you had a jelly that was white, that's, that's what the milky nails look like. Um, and then I also have this one from Essence, one of my favorite ones, I love this one. This is called Sweet as Candy. So just super pretty. It's to the point where you, it's opaque enough that you're not really going to see the nail line, it, unless you have like a super prominent one, but it's still kind of transparent, if that makes, not transparent, but I wanna say like translucent. Mm. Like a translucent nail is what, is what the, those look like, so. They look pretty fun. I've actually I've been eyeing one over at Fancy Gloss. Fancy Gloss actually has an actual milky white nail polish for like eight dollars and fifty cents, which I think looks really cool. So, all right, what's next? Mm. Sorry, I went to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> embellishments. Embellishments. The specifically three D embellishments. So I brought a bunch over. So you know anything that we can kind of throw onto our nails. Um, some of these I got from What's Up Beauty or What's Up Nails when Aww, I would- Oh, little watermelons are Yeah, so thank cute. you for summer. So uh, What's Up Nails would sell, send them to you for free. Like I would order things and then oh, they really? would just throw it in there for free. And then some of them, I like one, this one came with like a PPU polish, these cute little stars. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. Super, super cute. Okay, and then the other thought I had with that, and this one's gonna go into, I'm gonna jump into the one that's next, which is, I think it's flowers, correct? No. Nope. Well, there's one of them on there that's flowers. There is florals. Florals, florals. So I'm just gonna put this in together because it goes along with the 3D effect. So I don't know, has anybody ever seen these before? And I've done, I think, one Manny where I did that, but these are actually dried flowers. Whoa. And flower, so what we're saying is that the third one that we're gonna talk about here is fl floral is really in, so flower, but you could do hmm. that you can combine the two. You can have a 3D embellishment that is flowers, right? Wow. Or that are flowers on your nails. So aren't they pretty cool? That is pretty cool. I guess you can cool. see them better underneath because you don't have to think, but yeah, they're pretty, pretty neat. Um, I I want to try this again because the first time I did it, I was kind of new to doing this stuff, but I think I will try it again and use like a glitter grabber on top to sort of smooth it out so that it's better. Because that's pretty textured. Oh yeah, super textured. Yeah, and I can I'll I can flash up when I did it originally. Um, when the mani I did it in, and I did it kind of in a yellow like I'm wearing on on my nails. So, but another way to get the 3D and floral embellishment. Um, is with a 3D water decal. So these are um, water decals. I got these from What's Up Nails as well. My favorite ones are these ones from Fashion Nails, uh, but these are actually, you know, you can feel it. They're, they're textured and I love them. They're super easy. So now you've got this 3D embellishment and it's also a floral. I also saw in some of the pictures, they actually had like jewelry, like hanging, like pierced into the nails. Oh gosh. And like hanging off of the that nails. caught so, on everything. I know, right? Yeah. Like your so, hair. Exactly, exactly. All right, so what would be next after that? Micro French. The micro French. Okay, so, and I'm just gonna have to throw up pictures of that. Um, I would have liked to have done it. So, but one way that you can, so micro French would be, and I'm gonna pull out my, well, I can't get to it right now. I was gonna bring out my nail stamper. But, um, so instead of having the French be like, you know, a quarter of an inch or an eighth it's of an inch, bitty. it's so tiny. It's just a very, very, very thin line you know, that goes on the, the very edge. So you can use your stamper to so take a rubber stamper or your um, nail stamper and then just put the polish onto the stamper and then just push your finger in just a very little bit, just tiny, tiny little bit. And that'll give you that micro. Really? That micro French, yeah. We should, um, maybe I'll, maybe we'll have to try that. Maybe we'll pause here. Um, well, we can come back to it. And, but I will edit it and put it in here and we'll show you how that. How right, so we we're gonna do. put this, uh, I'm using this uh, little bit of blue polish here, stamping polish actually, and I'm just gonna put it on my stamper head here. And then I'm gonna take the nail. So I'm gonna use this one right here, but basically you're just gonna push in just a tiny bit. And you're gonna have your micro finch just like that. And you could do another coat too, if you needed to, or you can go, you know, even a little bit more on the sides if you wanted to like round it out some more. Um, but basically it's just the micro French on the tip there. Pretty cool, right? Let's go to the next one and we'll come back to it. 
Oh, lovely, Barbie pink. Yes, I knew you were gonna love that one. Barbie pink. <laughs> That's terrible. Yes, I brought over a couple of Christmas them. Christmas in heaven. Yes, and these might be, I, you know, it, these might be a little bit darker than Barbie pink. Yeah, I feel like it's a little brighter. It might be that. a little lighter is what I'm saying. Maybe brighter, but lighter, you know, lighter. But right. I just thought Barbie pink is in. They say That's a, ending of the Barbie movies coming out. That's terrible. Barbie movies coming out, though. Yeah. So this one's Kiss Jill. I wouldn't even have watched that when I was a little girl. <laughs> I would have been like, no, thank you. I had the Barbie townhouse, and I loved oh, it. Oh, gosh. I loved it. Do loved you my remember, um, I had Skip Skipper, because she was the tomboy. Oh, yeah. She was the tomboy. Yeah, I had her, too. I didn't, yes. have, I yes. didn't like Barbies. Yeah, I had Skip Skippy, I think, or something Skipper. like that. Skipper. Skipper or something like Skipper. that. Yeah, I had her. Yeah. I remember. She was like the teenage... Yep. Yeah, one, yeah. The little sister. This Kiss Gel one I got the dollar store a while ago, but it doesn't have a name on it. So, but it's just kind of just a pretty fun bright pink. And then this Morgan Taylor, I don't think we've ever reviewed this one either. This one is called Carnival Hangover. So <laughs> kind of a, a fun, just a bright, fun bright pink. Why but, does uh, that sound accurate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? She's a... I don't know. I know My she, phone went to sleep again. Again. It falls asleep. She talked too much. <laughs> Electric cobalt blue. Electric and cobalt blue for spring. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's right. Nice. The first one I picked out was this one from OPI, which is actually a beautiful blue, but I would wear it in the summer, probably not. Not in, spring. in the spring. Tile art to warm your heart. Isn't that pretty? But the pictures that I saw were actually more of this cobalt blue, like really? this. Mm, that's yeah. Pretty. It's pretty. I haven't worn this one. I've seen it on other people, though, and it's really, really pretty. Um, this one's called Electric. Yeah, it's just super, super blue. I, I don't know if I could... I don't think my seasonal heart could wear this in spring, but I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure I couldn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to just suck it up and do well, it. If you want to be in, if, if you I care about like that. In, in nail crown. All right, what's next? Uh, bright green. Hey, bright my favorite. Bright green, yeah. I brought this one over from LA Colors. This is, I bought this last year and I loved it. It was like my new favorite green. Um, this one is called Energy. Energy. Look at that beautiful green. So yeah, they said bright spring greens are like super in for this, which that totally makes sense to me, right? To have a right. nice bright, bright green spring. Okay, what else? Lemonade yellow. Lemonade yellow. I'm wearing it. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I love it. So what's on my nails is this, and we just reviewed it. It's one of our recent recent haul videos. Um, and this is from Revlon HD, and it's called, if I remember correctly, it is called Making the Most. And I love these kind of lemonade yellows that have a lot of white in the base. Yeah. I just think that they're super, super pretty. I was going to do more with this because one of the trends that they said is that pastel colors are in, they're always in for for spring, you know, but what they said to the, the, that you should add to it, they said to make it more of like an iridescent -y type. And so if you wanted to do that, um, I could, oops, wrong thing here. Um, you could add like a, you could do some glitter burnishing um, where you just take some hmm. of this cosmetic iridescent and you could just, you know, put like your sticky coat on, take an eyeshadow, you know, applicator, and then you just kind of rub it in and it'll give you that super iridescent look. You could also just do a topper, an iridescent topper, like, um, that like sounds Zoya's. Less complicated. Yeah, yeah, Zoya has a, a couple of and them. And less messy. Been, yeah, but this, but it makes it, this one makes it really look chrome too at the same time. So, but that was one thing they said. Pastel colors, besides the lemonade gel, all pastel colors with some kind of iridescence to it is also in. All right, what's next? Uh, you have lip gloss glazed donut. Yes, there. the glazed donut thing is in. So, you know, let's go back to our milky nails. So you're going to put on, you know, one of these, uh, you know, pink pink colors. Um, and then you're going to add that iridescent -y, you know, that kind of glazy look. Mm. Like you're having a glazed donut or like lip gloss on, on your on your lips. So, And that's actually, that's been going on for a while. That trend is not going away. So I guess that's my point. Um, I thought you could also even just do cheat and just kind of like maybe do something like this. Kind of looks like lip gloss, right? Kind of get that glazed donut-y look on there. So that's that's very in right now. And it's been in since like fall, the hmm. little glazed donut look. Okay? Retro. That's your last oh, one. Oh, yeah. That's the last one. Okay. So um, what is your idea when you think of retro? I don't know. It depends on the era of retro. So they said everything. They said 60s, 70s, 80s. So pictures that I've seen, and I'll flash them up here now, uh, is going to be things like checkerboard or paint splatter or um, even like um, 
like retro emojis that we might be on there you know anything from that the, the flower child like the one you know the flower child like the your what do you want to say the ones that have like the tie-dye kind of thing on the nails so, so yes, basically super. my 80s collection is in is what you're telling me my neon 80s collection is in well you, but they're saying patterns oh, not patterns. so much the colors it's okay. patterns. patterns it's patterns yeah Got so it. like i said okay. i'm gonna flash some some examples up there because i like 80s okay so th that was it those are all of the um the trends for this spring 2023 season. What do you guys think? Do you, are you gonna wear any of these? Are you going to do, are you gonna be wearing these electric blues here um, for spring this year? Or are you gonna say, nope, not doing it? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.